Another festival day has ended. I am finally home after being hot, sweaty, after making people laugh, after going to dinner with a good friend of mine who I haven't talked to in a long time and, and discussing the reasons that we are less inclined to intimacy or have been, you know, and as we're now working on our way through that childhood upbringing, events that happen, whatever it is that causes us to seek out people who are also less inclined to intimacy. You can, you know, all, all of your feelings that you, that you have as far as that kind of stuff goes, very valid, very viable, and whether or not it's because of certain things that have happened to you in your life or the way you're brought up or maybe, you know, love was just at arm's length. You absolutely, those feelings that you have are real. However, you can choose not to be a victim of that. You can choose to push outside your comfort zone and find a way, baby stepping your way into being able to be intimate instead of seeking out people who are, you know, emotionally unavailable or live far away, or you know, in another relationship, or you know, so obviously wrong for you, so that you know, you can say, "Oh, look, I really, really tried," but but you still remain at a distance, not intimate. You can choose not to be a victim of that, and it doesn't mean that you're going to jump into the pool and find somebody who's just like, "Yes, let's be together now," <laughs> you know, because you're, you won't be able to handle that shock to your system. You're going to want to find, you know, whoever it is that's right for you or the situation that's right for you at that time. And you'll grow into your intimacy. I always recommend talking to a therapist. And if you can't do that, there's a ton of books out there that you can read about it. self help books or, you know, whatever, whatever gets you there. Whatever gets you there. The reason is because that right now, you, if you're stuck in this, you don't have a choice. The point is to get you to a choice where you can choose to not be intimate or to be intimate, but then you'll have a choice and it'll be yours. And because your life, you are 100% responsible for the outcomes, the results, it's up to you to make this change. It's up to you to begin the process of putting your hand to the fire and seeing what it is you can do to allow yourself to be intimate again. And you're going to have a choice, as opposed to now where there is no choice. So, go out into the sunshine, laugh, enjoy your friends, enjoy your family, enjoy your loved ones, and work on your intimacy. Work on your ability to be intimate, open, vulnerable. Love is an opening of the heart, I believe. There's also the act of love. There's also the commitment of love. But love is an opening in the heart. Which is why we can say, I, I love my dog. I love my car. I love my friend. I love my mom. As long as your heart opens. Becomes soft. Becomes vulnerable. There's love. And it's a grand thing. And uh, at a higher level, it's even a grander thing. So why not take it to the grandest? If you can. Or at least to the point where you have a choice. And you're like, Ah, I don't want to. Ah, I do want to. It's all about you and your life experience and having a very rich life and being able to share that with others. I had a long day. I'm very happy and content. And yeah, I think that's good. This is me sharing and being a little bit, a little bit intimate with you. Welcome to my morning world.